You're watching The Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, how small improvements made to your smile can change your life, according to my first guest. He is Southern California's cosmetic dentist, Dr. David Frey. Dr. Frey, welcome to the program. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. Great to be here. Now, uh, I know you brought a stack of photos, so we will get into as many of those as possible. But, uh, but for people that don't know you, because I guess people travel to see you, you're in Beverly Hills. That's right. Uh, you get a lot of celebrity clientele, but you get regular people. Is that right? I mean, who's, oh, who's yeah. coming in for cosmetic dentistry? No, all, all types of people that want to improve their smile in any way, who want to look great, who want to feel great, come in. So we definitely get some celebrities, but our most, most common patient is everyday mom and pop, everyday people that come in and have their smiles enhanced. Okay. So it's a beautiful thing. And you really think it could change your life? It could change because it, it takes a dark cloud off of you. It, it allows you to part your lips and smile and just be who you are, the person. And so many patients come in and, and I take a picture of them initially and I say, okay, smile for me, smile for the camera. And they have a problem parting their lips. And after this procedure's done, they're like, hey there, how you doing? <laughs> right? so, Is that right? So you definitely see changes when it's all done. Absolutely, yeah. And you know, I had my smile done recently too. And looks so, good, looks good. Thank you, yeah. And I found myself in the mirror going, hey there, afterwards. So I see the power in it. Now, <laughs> you, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to endorse you, right? We, we, you know, right. And people need to know these are real interviews. I'm not endorsing you, I'm just asking the questions. But I've had, you know, I mean, we've had the show for 18 years. I've met a lot of dentists, a lot of plastic surgeons, medical doctors, but these are like the best photos I've seen. Thank you very Seriously. much. Seriously, and Thank it's you. good stuff. Thank and you. I think if people, you know, look at this, it's good. Uh, I'm, I'm left-handed. I'm an artist. Okay. And I, and I like to spend time with every patient and just try to get the best smile I can out of every single patient I work at on. At the top of the show, we said how small improvements can make a big difference. Elaborate on that. Well, it's sometimes, you know, patients come in, they don't like the little space that's right in the front of their smile, or they don't like something about their smile. And believe it or not, it just takes a, lot, a tiny little tweak of just adding something, doing something. Give me 10 minutes alone with this patient, and voila, their smile's like gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. yeah. yeah, so it's great. But a lot of times I do major, major improvements too, not just small improvements. So people come to you also, could they be too far gone? Like their teeth, their, their gums are bad, they got a lot of problems. I mean, I personally, the, I've never run into anyone that I don't think I could help with something. So every single person that has come and wanted my help, I've been able to find a way to get them a gorgeous smile. Okay, good, good. Let's take it now. You brought a, a bunch of photos. What are we looking at here? Well, I brought, um, this is uh, April, and April, basically, she's the cover of my book. She's so gorgeous. Her smile is so beautiful, and her smile looked pretty even before she came in, and she wanted a more full smile. She wanted to show more teeth. She wanted it to be more white, and so I, I stared and looked at it, and I said, okay, I think it'd be done, and it's just such a dramatic, gorgeous after result. So and, as a cosmetic dentist, when you look at her smile, like what makes up a good smile in your view? Well, I look at a smile as like a picture. So right. the, the lips are like the frame that comes around and the teeth fall into the picture. They, the, they need to follow the contour of the lower lip. So her they teeth need, are following that. That's all by design. Yeah, it's all by design. And they're all in perfect proportion from one another, a golden proportion. Everything is working with her face in every proportion. And so we've designed all this for her, and she loves it. She just absolutely loves it's it. It's very nice. Now, it, it, you're in Beverly Hills, Hollywood. You know, I've been, to, I, I, I've been told this, that an actor goes to Hollywood, the first thing their agent does is say, you gotta fix your teeth. Is oh, it? That's, oh my God, so many patients come in, and they, they, they walk around like they have a dark cloud on their head. And they say, you know what, my career would be so much better if I had a gorgeous smile. It's the one thing that's holding me back every single day. And so many people come in with whatever their jobs are. Uh, I'm in marketing, I'm in front of people, I'm do design. I need my smile enhanced. I need it, I need it to be beautiful because I want to look good and it's great for my image. And so it's an everyday occurrence in our practice. Now going into this, and, and we've talked, I feel like I could spot veneers walking down the street. Like I see some of the housewife shows or whatever. And, and the veneers can look big and bulky. Well, is that uh, by design or is that the dentist? 
I or think both? it's a, I think it's I think it could be a little bit of both, but I think a dentist with a trained eye and understanding what we call golden proportions can help get these smiles perfect. It's impossible for anyone to come out of our practice with large teeth if they didn't want them. The reason okay. why is we give you a trial smile. You wear like a smile that will resemble the final smile before it's actually made. So I would, um, if they were too big at that point, we would make them less and then the lab would know exactly to okay. lower them. This is Il Ilana and uh, she basically had wow. really small teeth. We made them larger, but she was, she was getting married and she was a gorgeous bride. She uh, took pictures for us afterwards and gave us wedding photos too. Randy, wow. I want to tell you something about her smile. I mean, they're just, they're contoured, they're not blocky, they look like natural teeth, they're just follow the lip line, they're doing everything they're supposed to do. And she was just an absolute gorgeous bride with that smile. Let me show you this mother and daughter. Okay. This is the mother. All right. If you look, she had crowns put on her teeth elsewhere. I don't know where she went, but okay. if you look at them closely, the, the teeth on the side are too long and the teeth in the front are too short. And so it's actually going the reverse way of the way a smile should flow. Like an arch going down, like okay. a, almost like an unhappy face. And it should be made like a happy face. If you look at her lower teeth, Randy, you can see that they're completely worn down. All right. They look like corn nublets, they're discolored, they're not attractive. And so when she speaks, that's all you see are these lower teeth going up and down. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't just fix her smile. We had to fix her smile top and bottom. We All had right. to make everything work together. The result is dramatic, and I can't wait to show you these All pictures. Right. And her daughter had veneers done from a previous dentist. All right. and they, that looks oh, pretty good. That looks look good. good. But if you look closely at them, they were getting stained around the edges. It's called micro leakage, and they were turning a little orange. And they were also wearing down her lower teeth. And when she was talking, you could see very short teeth too. Sort of runs in the family. And then take a look. You have the um, after pictures right oh there. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Very nice. Very Thank nice. you. Yeah, no. And, and these patients um, would do anything for me, Randy. They, uh, they're a mother and a daughter, and I just helped them through, and I, I made them the type of smile that they were looking for. The mother really wanted something natural looking. She didn't want anything overly white or anything that was fake looking. And I was very, very helpful with her when it came to that. And it's, She'll do anything for me. And that's why her pictures are here and I'm okay, showing good. you. This is a patient who didn't like her smile. And she didn't want to smile and she was getting married. All right. So she was showing too, many gum, too much gums. And so I had to balance everything to get her smile full and to show more teeth. I had to change her bite. I needed to correct some gaps and spaces in her teeth and make everything flow properly. Look at the after result. She's, oh my goodness. Looks like a model. She just shows so much teeth now when she smiles and it looks so pretty because her, her lower jaw is in proportion now with the rest of her face. Look at her wedding photo. It's nice. Look at her face. Look how she's smiling. Look how, look how it's in proportion with her lower jaw. She, doesn't, she has confidence to just go ahead and part her lips and say, look at my, look at my groom. I am so happy to be a bride here today. Now, with this before and after, when we look at the before and after side by side, right? Because one of the things you always say that a smile can, you know, make you look more educated, more sophisticated. I mean, obviously, that's what's happened here. Oh, yeah. She definitely looks more sophisticated. She looks more her age. It's appropriate. She's young. She's in her 20s. But she just looks stunning. Now, I remember picture. you said a long time ago, uh, when I first met you, several years ago, you said that if, you, if, you, if you're into your 60s and 70s, and if you want to look your best, it's not for everybody, but veneers are inevitable. Do you I, believe that? I totally believe that. I think that teeth naturally, as you get older, they just sort of age. They just sort of can turn yellow. They wear down. When you use your teeth every day, 365 days a year, three meals a day, a thousand meals a year, okay. you're going to wear your teeth down. You're going to lose a lot of the enamel off the edges. And when the dentin or the inner layer starts showing more, it's got more color, it turns more yellow. And it, this is a no-brainer procedure. That's why I did it on myself. You just go ahead and put porcelain veneers over, they replace your enamel layer, they look beautiful,
They feel great. They last a long time. They don't stain. Is that true? I mean, they don't they're... stain. They're non-porous. So, I mean, you could pull them out of the ocean after 700 years, and they would be <laughs> back to normal. So, I mean, the, it's just so a... wine, like red wine? Not... Red wine, yeah. So there's, there's stains called extrinsic stains that can be cleaned off. And they'll always be cleaned off, but they'll never intrinsically stain. They'll never turn from white to yellow. They just always stay. But the, they look so natural to the human eye, and they're so form-fitting that no one can tell that they're on your teeth. They can be done so properly that there's better replacement of any body part and anything in medicine is a dentist making teeth. So okay, that's good. why, yeah. So that's why I put them on my teeth because yeah. I figured, yeah. I got 20, 30 years to live. I mean, why not? This is <laughs> your teeth look good. Thank you, thank you. And uh, they don't look big and bulky, and and uh, you know what I think of a veneer. How do you let people know what their teeth are going to look like? Like yeah, when so they come in, how does that happen? Great question. What we do is we always make what's called a trial smile. So we'll take a model of your teeth and we'll make a template out of wax, but we use that as um, temporary veneers during the veneer making process. So what we do is we have you come back a couple days later and we tweak them a little bit. And you know what, maybe they're a little too long, let's shorten them. Maybe they're a little too rounded, let's make them more square. You know, let's, let's make it so it flows better with the lip line. Whatever we need to do, we tweak it at that appointment and we make sure that the lab understands what we did so that this is how we create the best perfect smile for everybody. Okay, good. Now, is it more women than men coming in to do this? You know, every year, every year we add up how, like, how many patients ended up with a smile makeover. And believe it or not, it's very close. It's almost 50-50. It may be skewed a little bit towards the women. But men do this procedure just as much as women. And it's the one thing men do almost all the time to look better. Because it's, it's not like uh, it's so subtle and it so, makes a huge difference in their appearance that so many men come in. Let me tell you a little bit about Patrick. He's a successful businessman, and he's got two children that love and adore him, and a beautiful wife, and his teeth look like this. And what the people's perception of him with teeth like that, it's almost like he's been addicted to heroin, which wasn't the, wasn't the case at all. Patrick is um, a great guy. He suffers from a debilitating, life-threatening disease with his stomach. So a lot of acid degurgitation, it kind of eroded his teeth. So all his teeth were completely worn down and his bite was collapsed. He needed major help. And we have sophisticated instrumentation in our office to fix all of this. So people like prejudge people when they have bad teeth, right? Yeah, so he's getting prejudged. This man, he's successful. He searched around the world. He would have flown anywhere to get his work done. He looked- To get his teeth done. Yeah, he okay. looked in Manhattan. He was all over the entire globe for the best dentist he can find to help him with his teeth. And so I'm honored to be able to help him. And the result is dramatic. So what did you do for him? We fixed his bite and we restored all his teeth. Wait till you see this after result. It's, it's oh tremendous. Goodness. Wow. Unbelievable. Stare at those photos for a second, Randy. <laughs> That's nice, yeah. I mean, when he comes in for the first time, he doesn't know how dramatic and a change, life-changing this is gonna be for him. I know how it is, and I'm excited to help him because I'm gonna really, really improve his life. And just look at his face. I mean, he's out of proportion. His whole lower jaw looks like, sort of like a grandpa with no teeth. And just by putting all the proportions back together, we have the scientific instrumentation, medical equipment, to help him find a bite that is so comfortable and looks when perfect you say the for bite, his face. Are we talking about how the teeth come together? Exactly. Why is that so important? You, you keep the, bringing it up. Yeah, well, the bite is so important because it can affect breathing, posture, strength, balance. It can affect flexibility. And of course, every time you part your lips, it's got to function right. Another thing that we really haven't talked about is how important the bite is to the longevity and the look of your smile. When you look at his face, you say, why is he so much more attractive now than he was before? And the bite has a lot to do with it. The way the teeth are coming together. Exactly. They need to come together in harmony with the muscles of the face and the jaw joint and everything has to work. And we have instrumentation that helps guide us there. And this is how you get the most 
incredible okay, good. in the world. We have time for a few more. Okay. Yeah, so here's a guy from the UK. And by the way, I have a license in the UK. I can practice there. And he came in. He could not smile. He could not part his lips. And he was so thrilled afterwards. Just look at that smile. Very and nice. Look how it just flows with this lip line and it's straight and beautiful. These look like professional photos. Are you giving them a photo shoot afterwards or this done in your office? Yeah, he went to my lab. My lab was so proud of the work that he went to my lab and my lab had a professional photographer take pictures of him and I used those. Let me show you another patient, Randy. This is Erica and she had very small teeth. And when she smiled, they were also discolored. And so this is a perfect, perfect patient for me. I made such a gorgeous way. She says after result All with right. these with these teeth, and this is she needed a little bit of bite improvement. Wow! But I needed to balance everything, and look how gorgeous that smile is. I'm so proud of. Uh, it's just it's white, it's clean, it's beautiful. Would you say she looks more attractive in the after? Yes. She looks sort of like a child in the in the before, and now she yes, looks more like, like a woman. Yes. For her, the teeth made a huge difference. Yeah. She sure looks attractive now. Let me show you Tony. All right. I'm excited to show you this one. He had big teeth. He's an attractive young man, but he had some spaces in between his teeth. And he like the, when they come in on a consult, what do they say? Like, the, I hate this. What do they say? Like, what? what we're, they have a general theme. They don't like to part their lips. It's a, it's a general theme. Smile. They're embarrassed, and that just crushes your confidence. It crushes you every day when you when you're out in society doing whatever you're doing. If you can't part your lips and say, "Hello, how are you?" then this is a great procedure for you. And veneers made him look, go look at this after result. Wow. Porcelain veneers, cross a smile, very simple, took just two visits, in and out, and he's a more attractive man now. Looks he's good. He's more handsome. Looks good. This is Antonia. She's uh, from Russia, and she wasn't showing that much teeth when she smiled. She had a lot of voluptuous lips, but doesn't show teeth. It's, teeth. It's, a, it's a very common theme for a lot of women. They, they, they enhance their lips a lot, and then they don't show their teeth anymore, and they wish their smile was a little more full. So in addition, she didn't like her teeth. Her lips were kind of shielding her teeth, but she didn't like them anyway, so she was just kind of shielding them constantly. All right. So what she's here after. She's such a, oh my goodness. She's such a wonderful lady. She brought, she brought this man in with her. And he's in my schedule to get his smile done. And you can look, you can see he's not smiling in the picture. And she... Uh, so he's just kind of hiding it. He's hiding his say. smile, yeah. And he's coming in, he's getting his smile done. It's amazing. I spot this all the time. I mean, it, um, you go on Facebook, Instagram, and you say, let's look for, let me see her picture. Let me see her teeth. And all you see are lips. And then you look at, they have a whole sheet of photos you go all the way down can't find one picture with them smiling with their teeth you know it's a problem so when, so, when you take care of this are they doing selfies they're smiling non-stop uh, on yeah. their photos absolutely this is like a life-changing procedure so. okay good here's Noah he wasn't showing any teeth either he had a, a lot of lips his wife brought him in a lot of wives bring their really <laughs> a lot of, <laughs> drag their husbands in yeah I had one um, fiance it was a condition to get married you go see Dr. Frey. You gotta, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to marry you unless uh, you get those teeth fixed because I'm not I'm going to look at that every day. Okay, okay. So um, Noe is one of them who uh, just by um, bringing the veneers, making them a little larger, his teeth a little larger, show teeth in the smile, gorgeous after result. Yeah. Here's another person who doesn't show enough teeth in the smile. Her name was Fofi, and she... Uh, um, needed to just have teeth that were in proportion with her her face. And so veneers are great after result, making this something nice for her. Pretend these are sisters on a job interview. Look at the before and after. If you're going for a job or you're going on a date, who would you rather date? Who, who would you rather hire? Well, the one that looks happier, mm -hmm. like the after, she looks happier. Yeah. She looks healthier, it's enthusiastic, a, and she's actually smiling in the before, but with her mouth closed. So is this, I, I mean, this, so this is your typical patient. They this learn to smile patient. with their mouth closed. Yeah, and it's, you know what, just give me, come a, into a room alone with me for one hour, and let me help you with your smile. That's all it takes for me. And they're wearing this for a lifetime. These are husband and wife pictures. They're before pictures. Okay. And 
Richard, he didn't like his smile. They were aged. They were yellowed. They were, um, they were just looking not his age. And the wife had two teeth that were kind of overlapping each other, her two front teeth. And her, all her teeth were kind of slanted inward. Mm -hmm. And so she didn't like her smile. And her bite needed some fixing too. But I helped both of them. Wait till you see these after results. Here they are in a gorgeous wow. shot together. Like a power couple now. <laughs> a power couple now. And they moved to it's Hawaii. Classic. They moved to Hawaii. They're living the life, living the dream. And they're smiling and they're both very, very happy. Let me show you, let me show you another patient who had debilitating teeth. And it was really taking a toll on her entire look and her whole face. And she really needed help. Um, this is a close-up of her teeth. Oh my goodness! Before. This is th this has got to be unusual. This is not unusual, as you know. You wouldn't believe it. How many people part their lips with me in the dental chair, and this is what it looks like. It could be an everyday occurrence. You never see it, Randy, because these people smile like this. Oh, I see. So, <laughs> okay. All right. But that's why you know. Wait till you see her after result. I believe that's it or not, nice. I think she, here's I got two pictures very of her. Nice. She looks like she's 20 years younger and she's just you know, happy as can be. This is Jamie and Jamie had also um, two crooked front teeth and she wasn't happy with her teeth. She wasn't smiling, not parting her lips and she came in for a simple smile makeover and got a dramatic result. You can see how it's changed her whole look and face. It's amazing when they see their teeth for the first time because a lot of times it's at the first appointment when we just um, make their trial smile. So they're living with this really crooked, ugly, uh, kind of worn down teeth. And we go ahead and fix them and we put this trial smile over it and they see it for the first time. It brings tears to their eyes. They, really? they sit there in the mirror and they can't stop staring at their teeth. And it's really fulfilling for me to see that. And that's why I love my job so much. Okay, okay. This is Pam. Pam. Pam had a great smile before, but her husband had veneers, and she was sort of jealous of him, and she <laughs> wanted like a gorgeous smile too. Yeah. So she came in, and uh, we put veneers on her teeth, and they're so form-fitting. When you take your naked eye and you stare at them, you would never know that she has anything done with her smile. Okay. It's gorgeous. Let me show you Rick. Rick is a Silicon Valley worker. Okay. He's a high-tech guy, and came in in his 20s. He had some funky teeth, some crooked teeth, some things that he didn't like smiling about, came in and he's a handsome young man now. Looks good, looks good. He looks really good, yeah, thank you. This is Mary, and Mary had an older smile and she uh, needed some newer dentistry. Her, her teeth were just uh, discolored and just a great after result on Mary. Very nice. And it's so funny because her husband, this is her husband, Donald, and when he was uh, in the consult with his wife, he said, I want this too. And so he signed up too, and they both got their smiles done. It happens all the time. Yeah, it looks good. I, I mean, it doesn't make a big difference for these people. Um, so they obviously smile more. They flash their smile all over town. Now, on the, on, on the follow-ups, when they come back, do they tend to tell you their stories? Like, I can't believe this, or I'm getting compliments on my smile, things like that? Um, yeah, so patients tell me all the time how many people are complimenting them on their smiles. I always say, did you give them my name? Did you hand out my card? <laughs> and they say, no, because I don't want anyone to know. No, I mean, right. no. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a, it's a hard referral, but so many people uh, compliment people every day. Something's changed about you. I don't know what it is. You know, what is it that's different? But you look younger. Did you lose weight? They say stuff like that. Yeah. That's um, yeah. This is Nikki, and Nikki had a space in between her teeth. She didn't like her smile. She didn't like to part. And she came and saw me. We did a smile makeover show on, like, the Learning Channel. And, and she came in, and she got. She was one of the people that uh, we chose to make a new smile. This is a mother-daughter. The mother found me first, and she was having dentistry done at another office, and she wasn't pleased on how it was going. And she knew that it wasn't going the right direction. And she found me, and she's, she works in a pharmacy. She's a lovely lady. And then she brought her daughter in, 
who, had, who was suffering from some TMJ and didn't like her smile either. So the two of them came in together and I did them both together, which is common. And so, I mean, look at those pictures. Look at how they're smiling. Look at yeah, how they yeah. can part their lips. And they're just wonderful people and I'm just glad I was able to help so them. So when we say like at the top of the show, cause it sounds like an exaggeration, change your smile, change your life. You believe that? Correct, yeah, change your smile, change your life. It's, if you're living with anything that is sort of bringing you down or stopping you from being who you are, entirely who you are, then you need to release that. And if it's something as simple as a smile makeover, then that's, uh, you know, that's why I love being a dentist. So even though you're in Beverly Hills, because a lot of people get afraid, oh my goodness, it must be expensive, but your prices are in line with, you know, yeah, so cosmetic, so-called cosmetic dentist, right? That's right. I mean, and this is something I do every day. And so you should go to a dentist who does this every day and who's going to do the best they can do because this lasts you for years and years and years. Okay, good. Final message. Somebody watching this, they don't like their smile. Maybe their partner doesn't like their smile. But for whatever reason, they're afraid of the dentist. They're putting it off. They think, I don't know if it's worth the money. What do you say to them? I'd say you should come in for a consultation and meet the doctor and see what's involved and see because even with fear, when you mentioned fear, that we have these, you can take a small mild sedative, it makes you relax, it makes you less anxious. And patients laugh and they sing when they're getting work done. <laughs> they sing, sing. When they're... they hum. They have, they, we, we have people in good moods when they're in our office. So you have like nitrous gas? You yeah, have nitrous like sedation gas. pills? That's correct. We have a nitrous gas, a sedation pill. We also use like, we have all these techniques. Like um, we actually buffer the local anesthetic so it's, it doesn't burn. It just goes in with, it goes in, it feels like water and it's so gentle that you can't feel anything, even getting numb. The, it's incredible. Really? It's called buffering. So you just basically, if the local anesthetic, the uh, numbing agent is a little acidic, you just kind of make it more like water. And it's really easy to do by adding salt. Is it true it's, uh, that you got an A, you told me, you got an A in giving, <laughs> giving injections or something? In, yeah, in, I got in, an A in shots in dental school. <laughs> <laughs> so you give a good shot. That's what you tell your patients? I tell my patients, yeah. So, so you shouldn't even have to feel that either. You should, no, it should, be, it should be the least of your worries, and uh, we don't want you to worry about anything. You should just get the procedure done, in and out, and go on with your life, and be cop, happy, be confident, and enjoy whoever you're with. So you don't like those hair club for men commercials where the guy gets his hair back and he's running and hiking and canoeing and swimming. Right. Is that what happens when you do your teeth? Yeah. Same kind of thing? Like same exact thing, yeah. <laughs> I want to thank you for coming to the show. Always Thanks a pleasure. We'll have to have you back because I know I your big topic to. is TMJ. That's and correct. helping people with migraine headaches, neck pain, things like that. So That's thanks my again. passion, yeah. Thanks again. Thank you. You've been watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Albers for now. I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues.